What's up guys? Welcome to our first ever subscriber infield breakdown. This is going to be the start of a series where we take your infield clips and analyze your game. So today we're going to be taking a look at two day game clips that someone sent in and we're going to be analyzing what they did right and what they could have improved on. All right, so let's jump right into the infield. So the first one is going to be him approaching a girl wearing yoga pants. Excuse me. Hi. Totally random. I was walking that way. Yeah. I saw you and I was like, I should talk to this person. Okay. <laughs> it might so his opener is, I was walking, I saw you and I felt like I should talk to this person. Um, it's okay, I guess, but I like to show a little bit more intent. Either go indirect where you're like, hey, cool yoga pants, where'd you get those and blah, 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 and just then transition it or go more direct, be like, hey, I was just walking this way and I thought you were really cute and I want to meet you real quick. I don't really like this in-between thing he's doing because it's kind of random because the girl knows what's up, but then he's not really saying it. So, not the biggest fan of the opener. Maybe the shirt. Okay. I'm nice to, nice nice to meet you. you. Are you from Chicago? Yeah, I am. Cool. cool. You give me like artsy vibes. Do you, no. <laughs> you're more like right brain, you're like an engineer or something. No, nope. <laughs> I, I do. Uh... So, one thing I want to point out is you can tell this girl is kind of into him, actually. She's like, you just tell by her body language and the way she's laughing. She's got that nervous laugh, so she's a little nervous, but she's also a little bit mildly attracted. Uh, however, I really don't like this whole, oh, you look like, you know, artsy girl, you gave me like this. I know it's like something that people commonly do in the pickup community. They overblow the cold reads, but personally, I've never been really big a fan of that. I just think it comes off a little obvious, but we'll see. Uh, words. Writing. Words. Yes. You're a writer. Yes. That's very artsy. Like when you think art, you think of like painting and like brush strokes, um, illustrator yeah, probably. Yeah, really that kind of art, yeah. Uh -huh. What kind of kind of writing do you do? Like, uh, like journalism. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. I was just um, curious. Are you currently in love with anyone? I am currently in love with someone. Yeah. Yes, I am. I can tell a little bit. I can, I can see it in your face. Yeah. Yeah. Love. I don't like this question. Are you currently in love with anyone? Uh, yeah. It's just it's just kind of it's too it's too forward for that, and it's like. If the girl wants to, if she's like having second thoughts, it's very easy for her to be like, yes, I am, I have a boyfriend. You're just giving her, I feel like, an easy out. So I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, if you're gonna go this route, you might say, random question, are you married with kids? And that, she's gonna be like, no, I'm not married with kids, but I'd be like, all right, cool, then we're good, right? You're almost like, if she's about to say I have a boyfriend, you almost like cut her off and then move on. Uh, so yeah, that's just like, are you in love with anyone? That's like a very, she might not even be dating someone, but she has a crush on a guy, right? So it just, I feel like you're giving her way too many outs with that question. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. It is beautiful, mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. Well, it was lovely meeting you. I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you, you But too. a better enjoy weekday it. next it's week. Been, thank you, it's been, it's been lovely weather, so I yes. hope you enjoy it. Take advantage of it. Yeah, you too. Where are you from? Uh, Chicago. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll catch you later. Awesome. See ya. Yeah, when a girl says that, you know, I'll catch you later, I'm going to walk away, at that point, it's really hard to uh, save the interaction. Uh, so, yeah, so I think there was some uh, attraction. Maybe she was legitimately taken. Uh, maybe not, but I just feel like when you say, oh, are you in love with someone? And she's like, yeah, bam, you just gave her a very easy out, and now it's going to be very hard to bounce back to the conversation. So I just feel like you're kind of setting things up, you know, poorly for yourself. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Totally random. I was going to walk past but I noticed something particularly interesting. So the one thing I want to point out right away that I think is going to be working against him is kind of his look that he has. So I give full props to this guy for sending in this infield, uh, you know, like major balls for that. But though, I, want, I do want to criticize like that purple purse that he's wearing, that shit has got to go. Like chicks are going to look at that and they're going to be like, ooh, this is feminine, right? So you don't want to come off as like super feminine or anything like that when you're approaching girls. It might make it easier to start the conversation, but they're not going to be as attracted to you. How about you? Or you rather look something particularly interesting? Yeah. <laughs> are you an artsy person? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm an econ person. Ec are you from South America? Or? Uh, no, I'm from France. You're from France? Yeah. I wish I, knew, I spoke French. That would be, that would be, you know, helpful. <laughs> uh, how long have you been in Chicago? Three weeks. Mm -hmm. And you're from Chicago? I'm from Chicago originally, and then my parents are Nigerian, and then they they travel like everywhere before they decided to come here. So one uh, quick little thing I want to point out, if I was in his situation, he's got the flagpole behind him. So what he can do is, I like to do this maneuver where I just like kind of lean back. So I'm the one that's relaxed. I'm almost the one that's like, quote unquote, sitting down. She's standing over me. So I try to always make myself as relaxed as possible. So when there's like a pole or something like that, I just kind of like lean back and relax. So she's the one that's kind of standing over me. All right. I noticed your hair. It's very yeah. like very poofy, <laughs> very cool. So you econ major at Northwestern. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I'm a postdoc actually. Postdoc? Yeah. Is this your last year? Uh, no, actually, I'm just starting a new job for my postdoc position this year, and I'm going to stay here for two years. Okay. Thanks. Go you. Okay. <laughs> and so you're you're studying here? No, I used to work in the area. I was visiting uh, the, my old office. Okay. Yeah, I was, I'm in the tech space. It's like oh, cool. nerdy stuff as well. <laughs> um, are you? Do you, what do you like to do for fun? Are you? So I'm not the biggest fan of like this basic get to know you stuff. I see the problem he's running into is he's kind of running out of conversation, which is, you know, happens to everybody, happens to me as well. You know, sometimes you just run out of shit to talk about, get a little awkward, but I don't like to do at genuine get to know you stuff. So what do you like to do for fun? At a point like that, when that happens, I just almost like embrace it. I'd be like, oh shit, we just ran out of things to talk about. I guess I'll have to like touch your fucking crazy hair or something. I don't know. Like I just make a joke out of it or something like that. So yeah, I'm just not a fan of like the get to know you questions because it's just kind of corny and tacky. Are you a big reader or do you binge watch TV shows? Uh, I read. Mm -hmm. I can binge with you. I mean, depending on that day, I don't know. Dip Different moods. Another thing I want to point out is this conversation is just lacking any kind of spice. So, for example, when she says, "Oh, I like to read," I'm like, "Oh, cool. What do you read? Fifty Shades of Grey." Like, I always try to like throw in like subtle little like I don't know like little spikes in there, right? So, again, you don't want the whole conversation to just be like one spike after another. There should be some let's call it normal talk, which is what he's doing. There's got to be some emotional spice. There's got to be something engaging because when you have just plain boring get to know you stuff, that shit gets old really quickly, right? So, this is kind of what I like to do. Boom. And it's like, boom, like that. And I think that's what makes a good game. Sometimes I can yeah. read a lot, sometimes just watch TV. <laughs> okay. What about you? I, I like to ride my electric skateboard. Okay. That's my, my main activity. I like to dabble in philosophy occasionally, like all that fun stuff. Okay, cool. I'm curious. Well, first of all, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you currently in love with anyone? Uh, yes. So he's got to stop asking that question. I think that's just fucking him over because, again, you're giving the girl such an easy out. Like, pretty much everyone is going to say yes. Like, there's always going to be that one guy that she's thinking about, and then bam. So when you're setting, like, what he's doing is he's trying to, like, I don't know, build a compliance tree. But when you're building a compliance tree, it has to actually lead to compliance, right? He's basically doing the opposite. He's building a negative compliance tree. Like, yes, I am in love with someone. Oh, now you're in negative compliance land. Yeah. <laughs> Husband, boyfriend, wife? Uh, boyfriend. Okay. Do you, do you have friends who look just like as amazing as you do? Who like, you'd like to, <laughs> we could do a double date, you know what I mean? See what happens, you know? Oh, you're sweet. Yeah, I just, just again, like, I just think there's no, there's no need to get into any of that where she has a boyfriend or not. Like, you just completely avoid that. If she brings it up, that's one thing. Uh, but I'll never be the first one that brings it up. So do you have a boyfriend? Like, I just hate that question. I think not in Chicago, but uh, maybe when they visit, I don't know. <laughs> that's cool. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you. So you stay amazing. You have a great weekend. Thank you too. Right, I'll see you later. Bye. So, okay, so that was the two infields that he sent in. So I guess the overall consensus I have for this guy is that he needs to be a lot more polarizing. So his game right now, he, he's a nice guy. You know, that's kind of the vibe I get. He's, he's a nice, normal guy. He doesn't creep girls out. He doesn't, you know, freak them out, right? But he's also completely lacks any kind of polarization. He's just like almost a little feminine in some of his mannerisms. And again, I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of him in any way. I'm just saying like, just like that's kind of my observation, like his mannerisms and just kind of like the purse. He's got to scratch that, maybe uh, dress a little bit more, I don't know, like more masculine-like. Uh, like for example, his jeans, yeah, I would scrap those, get some like, I don't know, badass pants. Um, get like a more like shirt that shows off like more like his muscle, like a short sleeve shirt. Um, and then like with the approach, uh, definitely go a little bit more direct. I'd be like, hey, this is really random, but I thought you were cute and I want to say hi, hi, you know, blah, 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 cool. And then add some emotional spikes into the conversation when you're talking to the girl. Like, for example, again, when she said she read, like, oh, cool, what do you read, Fifty Shades of Grey? Like, again, throwing in that spikes in there, completely forget about this, are you in love with any one thing, and just stick to normal clothes, like, hey, listen, uh, you know, I got to run, but uh, we should grab drinks sometime. Yeah, cool. All right, well, let me get your number and bam. That's going to be much more effective than just asking girls whether they're in love with someone. All right, hopefully you guys found this breakdown valuable. So if you want to see me breaking down your infield and send your clips into playingwithfirechannel at gmail.com and you could be the next person whose game I analyze. Thank you guys for watching. Show us some love by smashing that like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification.